Yeah, if anyone would go hyper on sugar, it would be the minions. Just don't let them ever try drugs, at least not uppers. This is their first date, dragging an unconscious body and getting her head stuck in the door. I'm telling you, she has to be the secret villain. She has the instincts of a villain. <laughs> Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder, and today I'm reacting to Despicable Me 2. So I had a blast with the first movie, just really fun movie that delivered on the laughs, delivered on the message and the themes of the film, and I'm just very intrigued to see where they take it with the sequel. I'm hoping we have the same type of tone exploring this world of Gru and his super villain life, which I guess now is kind of a superhero life since he did return the moon back to orbit. I don't know if Vector is going to be in it again. Part of me wants him to be because he was so good as an annoying villain, but then part of me doesn't want him to be because he was also so annoying. So <laughs> we'll see. Either way, it should be interesting. As always, if you do want to see my full unedited reactions to all my movies, they're going to be up on Patreon. And if you want to see my reaction to Despicable Me 3, the third in the series, that's going to be up right now for early access. Thank you to everyone for helping out, signing up on Patreon. That is the best way to support the channel. And let's just get into it. Despicable Me Maybe this movie will pull a Shrek 2 and be even better than the first one. That would be incredible. Shrek 2 is such a great movie. All right, where are we going to open up here? Are we in the Arctic? Oh, good. Russell Brand is back. Good. He was hilarious. <laughs> was it going to be a giant magnet? All right, is this going to be uh, Gru or is it going to be a new supervillain? Don't hold on, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Bring him in. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. He's on the mission. So it seems like he's officially a hero now then. <laughs> All right. Father of the year over here. What a great obstacle course. I mean, that looked pretty dangerous, but... <laughs> yeah, the dog is like, I'm leaving this party. This is not fun for me. Is it gonna be Gru? Did he dress up? <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna be pleased. I mean, A for effort, but... Of all. I mean, Agnes looks happy. All the rest of the kids look terrified. How come you're so fat? My house is made of candy. And sometimes I eat instead of facing my problem. <laughs> okay, time for cake. Yeah! Okay, good. That's a good backup right there. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. Oh, okay. They've got a great family dynamic going. Friend Natalie is recently single. <laughs> no, no, no. Get off the limb right now. <laughs> oh, I know someone whose husband just died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not see you there. That should get the message across. <laughs> oh, <there. laughs> Imagine doing that at a party to someone annoying. <laughs> Okay, who's doing this recon? This has to be the same person who with the giant magnet. Hi, Agent Lucy Wilde of the ABL. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Sorry, you're gonna have to come with me. Oh, sorry, I- <laughs> I like how casually she just pulled that out. Like, come on. <laughs> now you do have to carry him. <laughs> I mean, he must be doing a lot of yoga for his body to bend like that. Her license plate literally top secret. That's very low profile. Oh, 
Okay, that was smooth. All right, she's pretty good. She knows what she's doing. And she also is unconcerned with getting into an accident. Or destroying the tables. <laughs> I wonder if that was just a cover story. Maybe she actually is a supervillain and she's kidnapping Gru. <laughs> she's so casual. All right, this is like a huge headquarters space here. Okay, that's kind of amazing. Ultra secret organization dedicated to fighting crime on a global scale. So pretty much they're superheroes, right? Except a corporate organization. I am the league's director, Silas Ramsbottom. <laughs> that's really his name. <laughs> Dang, it just murdered him. <laughs> PX41 serum could be the most devastating weapon on earth. I don't trust this guy from the start. Come on. He's probably after it himself. Oh, attitude. That's right. So thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Look how wide her eyes are. She just can't believe that he's saying that. Instead of tasing people and kidnapping them, maybe you should just give them a call. I mean, I do kind of agree with Gru. You could have just called. <laughs> Did you really need to kidnap him? Could have sent an email. You're gonna be sore after that. When you're going on your date. What? Remember, Miss Jillian said she was arranging a date for you. Yeah, well, she is a nut job. <laughs> Poor Gru, he had a tough childhood, man. Every flashback is kind of bad. Gru touched Lisa! Ew! Lisa's got Grooties! Ow. The, whole, the kids are screaming. I think they have enough fruit for this operation. I don't know how sanitary this is. It's horrible, isn't it? No, no. Oh, we're making great Why? I mean, I don't know if they should be mass producing when they haven't figured out the right flavor. I've had an offer of employment elsewhere. Oh, don't tell me he's leaving. He's gone, man. I love how everything he owns can just like fit in that. It's still so slow. I was about to say, oh, it has more power than I thought, but this is a slow this send off. I don't know if he's going to get to his new job in time. I hope he's not gone for the rest of the movie. <laughs> so annoyed to get interrupted. <laughs> okay, is this the new supervillain? Scary? Weird? What is that? Hey, what celebrity do you look like? Yeah, uh, Bruce Willis. Mm, no. Not quite. Ooh. Gollum? Okay, that's pretty harsh. Awesome! Are you really gonna save the world? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I feel like if he had told Dr. Nefario about this new job, he might have stayed stuck around, you know? <laughs> okay. Well, that's one way to make a second impression. It's better than tasing, though, right? She's so aggressive against those cupcakes, man. <laughs> Does he have a crush on her? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. If anything, I think she and Gru might start dating by the end of this movie. Kenny, owner of Stuff a Bear. Ooh. I don't think so. <laughs> the Mexican flag. It looks something like. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> okay, so he's he's an old friend of his, right? He was ruthless. He was dangerous. That's such a As waste. The name implies. <laughs> Eats the glass. Okay, that's kind of amazing. <laughs> he died in the most macho way possible. Riding a shark. <laughs> 150 pounds of dynamite strapped to his <laughs> in an active volcano. That's got to be one of the best ways to go. Body in this place is the PX41 serum. It's him. Okay, right now I'm just going to say it's definitely not him. 
I wonder if there's any chance it's her, you know? Could it be, could we be setting up like a, a complete plot twist? My boobos, she braids my hair. My mother is beyond compare. <laughs> a little bit flat, maybe. I really like the way you smiled at the end. <laughs> kind of an honest remark. Less like a zombie, okay? Okay. She kisses my boob. <laughs> I don't think I should do this. Well, what do you mean? Why not? I don't even have a mom. Oh. You did the Veterans Day pageant, and you haven't been in combat. This is different. Okay, Gru, you're gonna have to find a good girl because your kids need a mom. <laughs> yeah, if anyone would go hyper on sugar, it would be the minions. Just don't let them ever try drugs. At least not uppers. <laughs> Take off your goggles. It's the magnet, right? <laughs> oh, the poor cat. It's like, I didn't sign up for this. Okay, they let the cat back. <laughs> we make no sound. Right. Gotcha. Yeah! <sighs> or you just kick the doors down, too. That's another style of breaking in. Do you never know what kind of booby traps this guy could have set? Huh? Come on. Yeah, especially if he's a super villain. Lost. Oh, it actually is. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> nice, she didn't break a glass. Hey, that polo is loco. <laughs> no? <laughs> He's like, I'm not laughing at that one. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, she, she does take her job seriously. <laughs> That's an image I'll never get out of my brain. <laughs> I mean, this guy just seems like too obvious of a suspect. There's no way he's the one behind all of it, right? Aha! What? It's, it's the salsa. Taste it, though. Maybe it's amazing. Mm. All right, you guys are busted. Somebody's going to die tonight. <laughs> yeah, they really made a mess of your place, too. Who's there? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> They couldn't resist. That's smart. They got some chips. I have you <laughs> now! All right. Well, uh, all's well that ends well, right? <laughs> okay. Thank goodness she has the world's best car. Get some ice cream for the girls. They probably want it for themselves, honestly. Oh no, there's gonna be no ice cream left for the kids. Oh, it's a trap. Well, actually good for those kids that they didn't get sucked in like this. All right, lesson. If you see an ice cream truck with tinted windows, stay away from it. Hey, there you are. Oh, they're gonna be like, oh, dad's on a date here. She's like, oh, this could be my mom. Are you single? <laughs> just works with me. Plus, you love her. You love her. You love her. <laughs> I love her. Okay, stop. Everyone else stops. Not exactly a low profile for your love life. Almost forgot. Yes. Good luck saving. Aww. She's gonna start liking him if she sees like how sweet he is with his girls too. You're a fun dad. Huh. I am pretty fun. You are, Gru. You are. Is that stealing? Not if my wish was that I would get a lot of free coins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Everyone's falling in love. Go yeah, Gru is not gonna not gonna react well. You are bald. That is bad. There you go, my sweet. I don't know if that's much better. I think rocking the bald head might be the better look for you, Gru. Just saying. That's just my personal opinion. Look at me! Focus! Gru? I promise that this wig will transform- Honestly, I would love if he's the villain. That'd be pretty hilarious. Gru has a boyfriend! And they're going on a date! Okay. Things are gonna escalate. Just don't kill the kid, please. My dream is to one day play video games for a living. Wow. <laughs> Hey, talk, that is a dream job, honestly. Start streaming on YouTube, Twitch. To see you again, Miko. Ah, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I see you have already met my father. Ah, uh, okay. Look at this crazy small world we live in, eh? Come, sit. Let me get you some. If he's the supervillain, maybe that's why he retired. He had a son. And her family. To our single de Mayo party. No, no, I am. Si. All right, now you have no choice, Gru. The whole family's excited. Macho, lock him up. Lock up the son. Don't forget about the son, the kid. <laughs> I think you've made your point. I think he heard you. He really thinks it's El Macho. <laughs> mm. Can you tell? <laughs> I mean, she's kind of covering for him, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh. All right, who's this mystery supervillain going to be who's like doing all this stuff? There's no way it's Dr. Nefario, is it? Is he resentful for what Gru did, maybe, and he went off on his own? I have my friend Shannon here with me. I was thinking you two could get some grub. <laughs> Let me go out on a limb and guess that they are not going to hit it off. Gru's not here. Are you sure? Yes, he just told me. Oh. Oh, Agnes. Well, you tried. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just getting better and better. So many phonies out there. <laughs> yes, I hear you. <laughs> Do you work out? Well, I mean, obviously you yeah. don't. <laughs> ah, I can tell. Solid. We are in the restaurant. <laughs> I know, like, maybe wait till you guys go to the gym together. Wearing a wig? What? Ah, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> just tell her you are, it'll end the date. This looks miserable. If you didn't like her already, now you can like her. All right, now he's got a real date. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, this is their first date, dragging an unconscious body and getting her head stuck in the door. I'm telling you, she has to be the secret villain. She has the instincts of a villain. And so far, there's just no one else that I've seen that seems like a big baddie. I mean... <laughs> I mean, it is amazing how different the world goes when you like someone and it's going well, right? Uh, Happy Gru is honestly pretty amazing. <laughs> See, his good mood is just infectious. We got him. Got who? Floyd Eaglesong. It's a setup. This this guy might be the supervillain, actually. He's my suspect number two. I better go. Bye, Gru. <laughs> oh, Gru. Yeah, he, he kind of goes to the opposite extremes. What's he going to do to the ladies? He's going <laughs> to... Okay. <laughs> Remember when you said that I liked Lucy? Well... I love Lucy. Okay, here is the question. Would you like to... Come on, Gru. You could do it. You can do it. All right, here we go. For real this time. Come on, Gru, make the phone call. You can do this. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to have monster minions. <laughs> I hope no one brought their nice car. That didn't take long. Nice between you and boys, especially this boy. <laughs> OK, he's Batman. Guru, I think you have a phone call you need to make. We are survivors. There's much more to us than meets the eye. Hmm? I mean, he's definitely a supervillain, but I actually think he's a good guy. <laughs> All right, Guru, now you have no choice but to dance. Hope you're paying close attention. Oh. What? There's a lot of guacamole in there. Okay, this is going to be very painful. You should have called her, Gru. You had your chance. <laughs> All right, if you start seeing someone's face in a magazine, maybe you do like them. <laughs> Either that or you took some strong drugs. Maybe save the LSD for post-flight.
I hope everyone else had their seatbelts on. I mean, maybe it is him, but I actually don't think it is. I think it's Dr. Nefario. That just makes more sense to me. It's like a twist. Of course not. I merely faked my death. <laughs> okay, it looks like it is him. Doctor, I think it's time. We shall grow. Oh, so it's the both of them. Okay. He's like uh, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> okay, that's insane. They really are going to take over the world. <laughs> Just when you thought the minions couldn't be any more terrifying. We can do it together. Together? Together! Pretend to go along with it, Gru. Come on, that's the smart move here. I hate boys. Oh, what? Okay, Gru, you need to handle this punk. <laughs> oh no, she just missed them by like three seconds. You're coming with me. Hey. Okay, is he gonna have a change of heart? Come on, Dr. Nefario, you guys have history together. He knows you're working for the AVL, and he's got your partner. Time for a rescue mission here. Let's go, Gru. Sorry, gotta go. There has to be an antidote to change all your minions back to yellow. I mean, Gru is honestly at his strongest when he's like trying to help someone that he cares about. Like in the first movie, when he went on his rescue mode for the girls, he was unstoppable. So this might be a mistake for El Macho. <laughs> Talk about an over the top villain laugh. Oh shoot. All right, you guys better implement some of Gru's defense systems on the house. All right, you need to make a lot more of that for all the minions here. Stay focused here. <laughs> okay, okay. I think you guys needed a wig to complete the disguise. <laughs> uh, all right, well, try to act the part. No pressure. I don't think you're going to be safe up there, man. I think you need to get a lot further away. It's World War Z Minion Edition. Well, nothing like a little aerial support. I'm happy to create an evil army to destroy the world, but nobody messes with my family. All right. Nice. Nice. You brought the girls? Yes. Oh. He thought it would be a fun field trip for all of them, okay? I'm going to fight Lucy. All right, let's go, Gru. Come on. Time to rescue your new girlfriend. <laughs> they weren't kidding about some Mission Impossible action. Someone get the jelly. Turn him back normal. <laughs> I don't know how you take him seriously. <laughs> Oh, what a time to run out. Come on, you need the minions to help you out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no matter how large, that still is very effective. Oh, yeah, you guys are gone. You guys are gone. <laughs> it's actually perfect. The chicken is the one to do it. I think the chicken is honestly a better villain than El Macho. <laughs> Okay, now save yourself so you can go on that date. I mean, good for Gru, and honestly, good for his whole family. The girls are going to be so happy. I think they're going to be happy that he found someone, and then of course happy to have a mother. We love you mothers everywhere. And my new mom, Lucy, is beyond compare. That was a much better delivery than her rehearsals. She killed it. Great job. I love how in the background, Gru's worst date is still showed up to his wedding. Hopefully she forgot everything that happened to her that night. Get everyone in there. Nice and close. 
Hope they have a little more jelly left. All right, so that is Despicable Me 2. Uh, fun, nice, fun continuation. It was great having the whole gang come back together. Gru was great. The girls were great. Um, you know, the minions, I feel like, came back with a vengeance in that movie. And then Lucy, you know, what an awesome, great new character to introduce, not only in the story, but also in the family and to, like, kind of join in. She just seemed like one of those people who was a perfect fit. You know, sometimes you have a group or a family dynamic that just works really well, which I think the first movie showed between Gru and the girls. Like, they just, they really, got along he really in his own unique way knew how to make them feel safe and comfortable and then uh, Lucy was just a uh kind of a perfect a perfect fit for him and that was great that she was also able to fill that role and be the mother to the kids so just very cool I, I was completely wrong suspecting the villain you know I think I was reading too much into it expecting some crazy plot twist but we had El Macho who was a nice fun over the top villain and then I'm glad that Dr. Nefario not only was in the movie in the second half towards the end but also he had a nice little redemption you know he made some mistakes along the way taking his new job but uh, that happened to the best of us and he uh he saw the truth in the end but i hope everyone enjoyed watching along with that reaction i hope you had fun with that movie please let me know in the comments which uh of the first two movies you preferred despicable me one the original or the sequel for me i saw you prefer the first one but let me know let me know which one you prefer let me know if uh you enjoyed having the minions come into the movie for me they they were a bit much but i i do understand the amusement especially for younger audiences that you can find there if you do want to see my full unedited reaction to this and all my movies are up on patreon and if you want to see my reaction to the third and final despicable me movie at least as far as i know that's up right now for early access thank you to everyone for watching along hope you had a great time and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero or a villain maybe you want to be like Groove. <laughs>